Oh yeah, hi, we've got an appointment with new and used boats to uh, view some narrow boats. This is a beautiful boat, beautiful condition. Really, really is a nice boat. Crew needed, no experience necessary. Guess what we're doing when we get back? <laughs> Guess who we're phoning? Hey, did you miss us? <laughs> this is Bonneville, where are we? Braunston. We've come to Braunston. Lovely. It's beautiful, beautiful. So. Before we start, before we update you, thank you ever so much for all of the lovely feedback and all of the comments, all of the new subscribers from last week's vlog. Big thank you. Maybe consider subscribing to You Know Who on social media. Maybe even yeah. consider giving us a little uh, subscribe and hit that bell icon on our little YouTube channel. But thank you, thank you, thank you for all the lovely comments and new subscribers. It is genuinely, genuinely um, heartfelt thanks. So. Braunston, let's go and have a little look in Braunston because it's beautiful. Oh. We've had a bacon and mushroom sandwich which was gorgeous from the Gongoozlers Cafe Rest. Gongoozlers Narrowboat Cafe, well worth a little uh, if you are walking past. Mm. Right, let's go and have a look at Braunston, shall we? Oh, there's somebody actually reversing here. They're doing it like a three-point turn. It's so scary. <laughs> So we are, as usual, on the towpath because we still haven't got a boat, but getting closer. And uh, we're going to walk into the village of Braunston, which we think's about how far, Mrs. B? Oh, it's only <coughs> about a mile away. I've got some cornflakes that dug. About half a mile, a mile away tops. So uh, into Braunston first, and uh, we'll start to update you on uh, the boat viewings. That's like me when Mrs. Bonneville does me pie and mash. <laughs> Mrs. Bonneville does a mean pie and mash, I tell you. Gin o'clock, the pub. I wonder who's been there. Mm. Kissing gate, as you've seen. We've come off the canal towpath, right opposite Gin O'Clock the pub. You'll see on the corner a little uh, sign, footpath into Braunston. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Yes, we went to view some boats. It's 31 degrees. <laughs> we are at Dunchurch Pools Marina, new and used boats to go view some. And it's got a, um, yeah, Belfast sink. a Belfast sink. But it's not got the stern that we want. No, it's got the um, sanitation. Don't know the world it's Now, we didn't do much filming, um, and you've already seen at the start of this vlog. We've actually been down to Braunston twice because um, we viewed the boats a couple of days back. It was blisteringly hot. Uh, very hot. Uh, we viewed a half a dozen boats. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, some of them were absolute no-nos, but there were two. Oh, wow, two. Mm. Um, but ironically, both of them were semi-traditional sterns. The first boat we went to view um, wasn't technically um, for sale, but the day it went on for sale was sold. Mm -hmm.
beautiful boat, beautiful condition, really, really is a nice boat. It was absolutely immaculate. Oh, it was lovely. Credit to the owners. Yeah. And I say, the second boat we viewed. At time of filming, this is still for sale. Um, I think the main thing we found um, on our viewings uh, was one, the boats were well within our budget, yeah. well within our budget, and they were beautiful. So it, it's definitely confirmed to us, which I know there'll be folk now screaming at the screen. Um, we know we've got to put the legwork in. We've got no problem with that. We really haven't got a problem with visiting boats. And I think the thing that, as I say, really, really pleased us was um, those two boats that we fell in love with were 20, 30,000 pound below um, our budget, which is for us, that's a big saving and a lot of money. If either of them had got a cruiser stern, we we'd would have offered. We'd have, we'd have offered. We really, 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 really want a yeah. cruiser stern. Well, in fact, the boat that we went down to view, there was a little bit of confusion, I'm not going to lie, with new and used boats. When we arrived at Dunchurch Pools Marina, they hadn't got a clue who we were. Um, and the boat that we did want to view was a five-year-old, 60-foot um, cruiser stern, and it had been sold. So I must admit, the, the folk at the actual marina did a really great job oh, in um, getting us on half a dozen boats. Really lovely. Yeah. So that's the update with the boats. We don't want anyone thinking we are just tyre-kicking. Forget it. Um, that, that's not our style. Um, and in many ways... In many ways, perhaps we shouldn't have gone because the house technically, you know, we haven't got the money in the bank yet. Um, anyway, so that's the update with the boats. Um, if you ever are in and around Dunchurch Pools Marina, go and visit. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. The staff, the team in the marina office, we can't fault them. The young were, lady showed oh, us around she the boats. Was great. She was lovely, great. lovely lady, mm. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the um, the boat update or the viewings update. Um, and I just want to, we just want to manage some expectation. We're not going to film viewing boats because we have had a little bit of feedback um, positive in terms of, oh, you know, where's the boat viewings? Can't we see? No, um, greatest of respect, folks. It's a big decision for us and we're not going to spend time filming that. We're going to view our boat first and then once and then we've decided yeah yeah once we've decided it'll be what... twittered instagrammed and everything <laughs> yeah and yeah you know once we've decided which boat we're going to buy and live on that's when we'll film and show it you right so we've just left the churchyard and um we'll just have a little wander into uh, the village of braunston i'm not sure if any other boat tubers or any other youtube channels have shown braunston let me just flick you around Idea that, isn't it? Look, they've even got a little bag. Not some. I don't know. No, it's just free. Just says free. I'll take a few, and then we can use them for the. Um... More blackberry and apple crumble. What a result! What a result! I suppose Mrs. Barnard wants to put those in my bag now. <laughs> I've got me. Um, I've got me new boater. It's not new. It's, it's new to you guys. I've got me new boater bag. Comments below. Keep them nice and keep them positive. Let me show you. This is handbag. I think it's a husband thing. Every time I bring a bag out, she fills it. She fills it. Could be a massive rucksack, she'll fill it. Right, we're going to see if we can find... Well, we're going to walk through Braunston and then see if we can find a little cut through back down to the canal. Yeah. Over his bread with a little butter on the top under the grill or oh, some dripping. Now then, I'm going to get some comments on that, I know I am, but I don't care. Oh, toasted bread with a bit of dripping on the top. Come on. Comments below, by the way, if you're not sure what dripping is. Marmite. <laughs> Marmite. God, it's disgusting. I'll tell you what, it's lovely to see. It's lovely to see an old-fashioned, what I call an old-fashioned butchers. Look at that, I bet he's got some dripping. 
and all this marmite dripping. Oh, bit of plowman's, some sweet chilli. Oh, I could go mad here. See lovely things. Full shelf bit. <laughs> We've turned off the high street at the butchers and uh, we're hopeful of just. Oh, that? Listen, listen to that. No to Guzzy. Oh, one very, very quick response to a question I've had, which was, um, where's the furthest I've been on a motorbike? Uh, I've been around the world a couple of times on a motorbike, and Mrs. Bonneville as well is completely, there's no easy way of saying this, she's well travelled on the back of the bike. So yes, I've been around the world a couple of times, so um, that's an answer to a, a question from uh, one of our viewers. Right, let's go see if we can find a canal. So obviously a few boats for sale here, which is um, quite nice. If you uh, are looking, which guess what? We are. Come on house, get sold, get sold. Mrs. Bonneville seen something. We're not sure if the one over here is for sale, so we won't name it, but it is lovely. Beautiful colour. Yes. When we talk about a well deck, <laughs> this is pretty much what we mean. And this boat is for sale, it's absolutely stunning. We're off. Braunston, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> We start, we start section two, segment two, whatever they call it in TV land. <laughs> at, where are we? <laughs> Mouthful of flapjack. We're at Tapton Lock, which is, um, well, just outside Chesterfield. And seriously, I woke up this morning thinking it was Thursday and it's actually Friday. I don't know what that says about me. Have I got into Bota Canal time? Anyway, we're at Tapton Lock. We're gonna finish our coffee. Uh, Mrs. B's going to finish her flapjack and have a little wonder and show you around. Anything to add, Mrs. B? <laughs> I'm doing it on purpose, so she's got a mouthful of food. All right, see you in a minute. We're uh, in Chesterfield, and one of the things that it's really famous for is the crooked spire. Do you know how the crooked spire became crooked, Mr. B? No, but I know I'm going to be told. Um, no, what they actually did is they used unseasoned wood uh, and then proceeded to put 32 tonnes of tiles on top of it um, and um, it just twisted and it's just stayed like that and it is really quite quite weird when you look at it. If you've never seen the Crooked uh, Spire, uh, there's a picture here that you can see. Um, anybody been on the Trans Pennine Trail? Love to know. Um, seriously, I've not actually got a need to be. Oh, I don't know. I've not heard of it. Look, well, it's here. Look, you've got yeah, there's Leeds, a map. York, Hornsey, Manchester, yeah. Liverpool. There's a map where it goes. But mm. wow, why did I? Why have I not heard of the Trans Pennine Trail? That behind is lovely and we don't know what it is and Mrs Bonneville is responsible for the research. Dereliction of duties. Not just here but in the marital home full stop. Look at her. She's complaining she's got a smelly bubble at today. Oh it's I've, I've had it in, in my boot bag. In the boot of the car I've got my dog walking bag and it was right down at the bottom so it smells a bit and it's got something on it I'm not quite sure what um, tapped 
Hampton Lock. It's just, well, how far out of um, Chesterfield? Mrs oh. Bonneville, about a mile from the centre? Just a mile from the yeah. Mrs it's Bonneville, been... I can sense Mrs Bonneville wants to say something quite historic. Well, apparently the Norwood, because it's, it's been around about 200 years this canal, and apparently in about 1907 uh, the Norwood Tunnel uh, collapsed and since then it was sort of disused and, and, and left to ruin really. And now the five mile trail from here to Staveley has all been rebuilt and it's uh, and it's it's quite a good good canal now so it's good that it's been put back in but Staveley if you have a look at this this week this month's edition of the towpath and I think it's on page three or four or something uh, there's quite a big article about Staveley Basin and how they're restoring it and stuff and there's been quite a bit of funding and they're hoping to get it done by 2027 um, so it's well on its way to getting restored. So it'd be lovely to have it all connected and it all being, being back. Because as a northern lass, it'd be nice to do this. The got... towpath! What's the towpath? Oh, the paper! And have you been reading that? We didn't put it in. I think it was last week's vlog when we were on um, the River Trent down in Newark. Mrs Bonneville picked a load of blackberries and guess what? can't see it on the camera but she's got a little plastic bag we're going to pick them again and last night I had the best seriously not just because she stood behind me I had the best apple and blackberry crumble ever ever Did you see that sign on the boat? Crew needed. No experience necessary. Guess what we're doing when we get back? <laughs> Guess who we're phoning? <sighs> yep, just a quick update as usual on the house. Thank you for asking. By the way, we are getting just a couple of comments. They're really positive in terms of how long does it take to sell a house. Um, those comments have come from further afield. Um, I don't want to go through the full UK what's known as the conveyancing process for selling a house but it's not a overnight process so apologies it never is, is <laughs> it, it never is um the house sale is progressing now uh, we don't talk about it that much because we don't want to voodoo it but we do want to stress it's not an overnight process so but it is progressing it's niggly little things i've just had a, an email conversation with my sister this morning or our solicitor this morning regarding it and it's niggly little things yeah. that just need like the the t's crossing and the yeah, i's yeah, yeah. dotting and stuff and let's face it not that i'm knocking any solicitors out there but things are never done over no at all. And, and let's never. yeah we, we really don't want to voodoo it but mrs b is absolutely right they're not uh, solicitors don't move very quickly in the uk i'm not having a pop at anyone no. but as i say um you know the the house sale is progressing but it doesn't happen overnight so we do get a couple of comments in terms of why no boat yet well if you want to buy us a boat <laughs> go ahead but we need to sell the house first but it is progressing onwards I'm, I'm going to pop the camera down on this bridge forgive me bridge number because behind me is the crooked spire wish that i could stay in this moment We're off into Chesterfield, not to have a look at the Crooked Spire, see if we can one, get Mrs Bonneville's smelly hat washed, and two, a bacon butty, three, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Actually, comments below, look at this. It's just full of horrible, oh look. Anyway, more pressing things, bacon butty. Bacon butty. Right, we're in Chesterfield. We're gonna get something to eat. I can see something in front of me. It looks very, very appetizing. She said no. I knew she'd say no. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to fry up anymore. And don't you dare say why. 
Right, we're fed and watered. We're going to head back out of Chesterfield. Hey, well, that brings us to another conclusion of our weekly vlog, Mrs. Bonneville. Hiya. Mrs. Bonneville's just said hi. Yeah, that was me saying, Mrs. Bonneville, you want to come and say goodbye to the camera? But <laughs> Mrs. Bonneville, come here. <laughs> Bless her. We do love her. Yeah, look, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, we are ever closer, ever closer to getting our boat. So thank you for bearing with us. Um, we will get it. It's, uh, well, it's not that far away. So thank you for watching. Consider subscribing to Mrs. Bonneville on all of the social media Yay. platforms, Instagram and Twitter. Maybe even consider subscribing to our little channel because it's all free. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Bonneville, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> we will see you next week. Goodbye. Right, come on, smelly hat. It's going to stick that in it. <laughs> Giant sat on it. That's not going in. <laughs> we don't do anything as a couple anymore, you know. In fact, I think what we should do is get two boats and just I'll do the north and Mrs. B do the south. <laughs> Try read this. Try read this. <laughs> Try. <laughs> you don't know, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's not right today. It's, it's really Mrs. Not. Bonneville's smelly hat. Do you know? It, it stinks. Do you know? Do you know if he's right? I'm glad I'm wrong. It, just be. She's got a smelly hat. We really, 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 really want to yeah. cruise a stern.